Hello, Greg. Good evening, Hugh. This is our almost full moon video because you have to work Thursday night. Yep. So we're uh, we're gearing it up a couple days early today. The moon's about ninety-seven percent full. That's enough. It's in Cancer, and it, on on Thursday it'll be in Leo, mm -hmm. and then from Leo it'll go to Virgo. So I'm Cancer, and my murdered wife was Virgo. So this is a good time to do it. Um, does Leo have any meaning? Any special meaning? If the if the moon is in Leo, does that mean anything? Not to me. I'm not okay. a Leo. I'm a Cancer. Right. And my wife Victoria Mellon, she was a a, a a Virgo. So it's gone from Cancer to Leo to Virgo. So this is a good time to do it. My wife was murdered twice. Two of my wives. Two of my wives were murdered twice. I found them murdered at our at our home, gave them CPR, got them in a hospital, and then 30 days later, they were murdered a second time in the hospitals. Uh, one was murdered in Johnson City Hospital, and the other one was murdered in Tacoma, Tacoma Hospital. And they were both murdered by the same doctors. And uh, they called murders, they called dismembered bodies. Uh, natural causes. The sheriff in Johnson City said he was just going to leave the murder up to God. And where I found them murdered in Greenville, Tennessee, the sheriff there said it's not his fault the government is corrupt and didn't file murder charges. Uh, I had two sheriffs who didn't file murder charges on, on uh, dismembered murdered women. Interesting, isn't it? That is not the proper um, way that a policeman should answer, well, you know, a murder. Let's just bring it up to God. That's the whole point of the police is to well, they, they solve hid, these sort of They things. hid the murders behind the Perrys in the Duck Dynasty, and now it has come out that the Duck Dynasty has illegitimate children. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw the yeah. article, yeah. yeah. So they hid me behind illegitimate children. And this guy's supposed to be a, what, a Baptist minister or something? I think he says that, yeah. I own the real Baptist ministry. It was called Smoky Mountain Ministries. And uh, I was half owner. I was a 50-50 partner with uh, John Cook. And uh, he's one of Willie Nelson's guitar players. Yeah, and you were making a uh, a periodical, a religious periodical, and uh, yeah, selling advertising on it. We supported two homeless shelters and two food banks with the magazine. Mm -hmm. We circulated every month. But he was just using your services and not paying you, even though you were being real honest with him and giving him the money for it. Uh, and then he was supposed to pay you out of that, and he never did. And, uh, I, would, I would give him about seven, eight grand a month, and then he never paid me. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's because he's my only living wife's family, Cook. And Cook and Perry are, are her cousins, and they married me so they could spy on me because Bill Gates is my cousin. And so he was a cook, too. And so he was keeping you from being able to hire a lawyer by not paying you. And you were already yeah, broke had, at the time. Yes, they had murdered my attorney, uh, Mr. Bauman. And Bauman was my secretary of Michigan, his sister. And somehow he ended up being an attorney in Tennessee. Yeah, I still, I feel like there's something behind that story. Like, okay, you yeah, had a secretary is, in Michigan and he is, had to have followed you or something. Uh, we uh, in, in Michigan, Tony Toko and Miller worked for me and, and Janet Bauman who became Janet Barclay was my, my secretary. Uh huh. And uh, I am my partner at that business. We did Sears warranty work on rooftops. We, we kept the air conditioners and heating units going on bars and malls and Burger Kings and Western stockades for Sears warranty. Um, they were mafia. Yeah, and somehow he still wanted to defend you. Tony, explain Toko. why. Explain why Ballman would want to defend you if uh, his um, sister was uh, he, connected he went, to this. He went to church with me, and he was at my wedding to Victoria. 
he, he went to the same church I did. And James Bauman was a mafia, and neither was Janet Barclay. Okay. Um, Tony Toko and Miller were. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and, now and they, they, were, they wrote about uh, Hoffa and, and so on, yeah. Yeah, they worked for me. Uh, I rented a factory from Jack Ruby's carousel trade mark mm -hmm. in Michigan. And that, that building is where uh, Toko and Miller would show up. Miller, Miller, I bought Miller a house. And then uh, that was about two years after uh, Hoffa disappeared with my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law was his guest at the Mock of Sly Fox. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the next morning, the FBI detained me in front of five of my kids in my driveway, getting out of my work truck. I was in, I was in uh, Jimmy Hoffa's union for one day. And they detained me because Whitey had sold me a car. And that's the only what living wife and her family murdered my next four wives. Was that Whitey the same Whitey Bulger? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't have a clue. All I know is that the West House family, who's Perry and Cook, introduced me to Whitey. And then I needed okay. a car. My car, my my truck broke down. I had a a Ford van. It broke down. So, the West House family introduced me to Whitey, and I bought a car from him. And it broke down uh, about a half mile from his where I bought it. Uh huh. So yeah. I dumped it and bought another car from a guy. Uh, Freddie, we called him Fast Freddie. Fast Freddy had robbed a bank, so they they pulled the state police pulled me over and told me I robbed a bank when I when I replaced Whitey's car. And then uh, the next morning, uh, the FBI told me that I uh, I buried Jimmy Hoffa in my car because I jumped it, and I didn't have a title yet from Whitey I, that was supposed to come in the mail, so I jumped it without a title. So they. They figured I, I murdered Hoffa. And Jimmy Hoffa, I was in his union for one day when that happened. And I was introduced to Whitey uh, about four weeks prior to Hoffa disappearing. So okay. I, had, I had seven or eight FBI agents detain me with guns, guns getting out of my work truck. I worked for Morrison, Morrison Company out of Chicago driving truck in Detroit <clears throat> and uh, they detained me right in front of all my kids I had five kids I had adopted four kids or, or three kids and I had two of my own uh, back to you well I'm trying to think if, if uh, Janet Barclay and uh, whose name was Ballman and uh, if her if she and her Janet husband Bar Janet Barclay, she was a really good pianist. Uh, what? They wouldn't let her on the radio either. They, my band was on the radio in the '60s when I was. What What led them to defend you in Tennessee? What was it just because they were your friends? Was it because there's a government connection there? Or yeah, Janet Janet Bauman, who became Janet Barclay. I worked for Mr. Barclay. Mr. Barclay, he owned a, a lounge and restaurant uh, at an airport in Michigan on, uh, I believe it was 16 Mile Road, Big Beaver Road. And I worked in Mr. Barclay's lounge before I ever knew Janet Bauman. Janet okay. started working for Mr. Barclay and then she married him. Okay. Um, after I stopped working at my business, I, I quit working because my partner took all the money out of the bank and ran off. He got scared. I was on top of a building and they murdered the bar owner below me. And I called him. He came. He saw the murdered bar owner. He took all the money out of the bank and he ran. And his name was Del, Del Carpus, C-A-R-P-U-S. And all of these people are, are mafia figures. 
from Prohibition era. era. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Janet Bauman was not mafia. She came to work for me because her husband was having sex with her daughters. Mm. And she divorced her husband, and I gave her a job so she could have money to hire an attorney. And somehow, Mr. Bauman followed you to Tennessee, it brother. seems to be. That was her brother. Yeah, he followed. Her brother, Bowman, yeah. He, he set up a, a legal business in Tennessee. Yeah, not her husband. Her, he her brother. Church, he went to church with me at, at uh, with with uh, the Disney family. I was publishing Disney songs and singing them with jo uh, James Taylor on the radio. And That's he had volunteered to help you, right, uh, with the case for the murders. Yeah, and then he was murdered the night after the night. My wife was murdered, and he was supposed to go to the DA and fi file my wife's murder charges because my wife was raped, sodomized, uh, her her ears were cut off, and her throat was slit Halloween day uh -huh. a second time. Okay. And uh, Admiral Byrd's family was with her at her bedside just before her throat was slit. Mm-hmm. And that's the letter I post from the Bird family on Facebook. Right. And that was just before her throat was slit Halloween Eve. And um, they spent a lot of money to murder my wife. They hired actors to show up in the hospital. Seems Mr. Ballman there was... Uh... And hitmen. Yeah, it seems like he was a good friend and was there... To help you is what it really sounds like to me. Yeah, he was there to help me. And he he hadn't seen his sister, Janet Barclay, in, in over 30 years. He he left Michigan, like I left yeah. Michigan. And he became a lawyer. And then he set up a practice in Tennessee, in Greenville, Tennessee, by my home. Mm -hmm. And when... Um, when I signed the contract for the Joker song with Stephen Soundheim in New York, they murdered my cousin down in Florida. And the person that murdered my cousin down in Florida, as I, uh, as I signed, send in the clowns contract, was which was worth $87 million, at my publishing company, Bottom Line New York. Um, a clown knocked on my cousin's door down in Florida. Um, I can't, I don't remember if it was Palm, Palm Springs or West Palm. But when she answered the door, he, the clown shot her in the face. Mm -hmm. And that clown family followed me to Tennessee. Interesting. And I think that's why uh, lawyer Bauman was there going to church with me. Oh, okay. Because I was on the radio, and Janet Barclay was a better pianist than Elton John, and they wouldn't let her on the radio. And okay. They, and, and they pulled me off the radio. Uh, so they, he wanted to help uh, Janet, basically, also by helping you. I get it now. Yeah, when they when they tried to frame me for Hoffa's murder with Whitey in the West House family, and Westhouse was Hoffa's guest at the Sly Fox when he disappeared. Mm -hmm. And they had already dug a hole. And on the day Hoffa disappeared, my horse disappeared also. And then the hole they had dug with a crane was, mm -hmm. was mysteriously filled over. That yeah. very same day, the FBI detained me. And the FBI, they won't take any reports from me because... Uh, they're part of uh, murdering my twin. I was kidnapped when I, on the day Admiral Byrd died and Pratt cut my father's hands off. They kidnapped me and my twin with Camille Surhan out of our kindergarten class and they, the five grown men beat my twin to death when he was four. Torture. I really feel like that video we made where we went through the FBI directors and, and explained their role and everything in, in your life uh, or their family's names in your life was a very interesting system. video. Uh, the, the director of the FBI, they funded my school system throughout mm -hmm. my entire life. I lived on Hoover Street. They funded Hoover School. Then I moved to Warren, Michigan, and they funded Warren Consolidated. 
And then when uh, DuPont and Claire Cummins stole my trademark from uh, Twin Pines in, in about 1966, 67, Webster was director of the FBI mm -hmm. and he put my stolen trademark in his dictionary because a word in the dictionary can't be a trademark. So the FBI actually helped murder my twin in the Oakland County Child Kids with L. Brooks Patterson. And then they, when, when my trademark, which was a federal license in 264 countries on earth was stolen, he put it in his dictionary and he was funding my school system. And my band had won the battle of the bands at, at two colleges and at Warren High at that point. And he called bottom line uh, an accounting term as my little brother got an accounting degree from Walsh Business College. And one of my kidnappers was Daryl Hall. And he gave you the, the Eagles who lived down the street from me in Royal Oak, Michigan. Now, this is why you have John Walsh on TV talking about uh, kidnapped uh, people right. and murders. Right. And, mm -hmm. that, that's the Walsh family. Walsh ran my church, St. Anne's, which was a Catholic church, down the street from uh, Gene Hamilton uh, on a $10 bill, the Hamilton family. And I'm, I'm Jackson's family on the 20. And then, you know, Washington married into my family. Right. Before we so this would be the FBI covering up these parts of your story through people like that. They, they stole three trillion dollars from me, and then then they blew up the twin towers to hide the theft. And mm -hmm. I had a civil rights case in the Pentagon against the family that built the Pentagon, the Groves family, and they blew up the twin towers and. Pratt had cut my father's hands off when they murdered my twin when we were four. L. Brooks Patterson was sitting out in the governor's driveway, never reported the, the murder. They dumped his body in a Pennsylvania field by Daryl Hall's house, mm -hmm. one of my kidnappers. Right there where uh, the... And then they stole your computer uh, this past year, and then they've started changing names and dates and all the news to counter my truth in your book. And you right. researched me for over seven years now, and you looked into federal documents, correct? Into federal documents? Oh, well, yeah, this, uh, the ones that you showed me, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've been researching uh, my life for seven years. Yeah, yeah. And that's why wrote, the uh, you wrote that's a why page history book and, and the book was on a computer you mailed to me and the post office stole it. Yeah. And then my family appointed the first postmaster general in the, in the country. Mm -hmm. And that was Mr. Blair a long time ago when, when the country was forming. And, and then I'm related to all the U.S. presidents on, on money. It's amazing in Pennsylvania there how my my they... aunt Gardner's best friend was Mr. Chase on the ten thousand dollar bill. Then my okay. great great grandfather is President Jackson on the twenty. Yeah. Right. And then I grew up with Grant. And you even look like Jackson if somebody holds a picture I, of I you and up, well I grew up with Grant and Hamilton and I bought my first car from Gene Hamilton, and he's on the 10. My great-great-grandmother was Lincoln, President Lincoln's guest as Bruce shot him. And then my family investigated Lincoln's murder, Baker and Gardner and Harris. And the FBI and Baker, I wanted to talk about that earlier, the FBI and Baker and uh, Norma Jean Baker, how the FBI would have killed Marilyn Monroe because she was reporting on these things yeah, back when, to when Hoover. Died, when she first died, they said she died, she killed herself with barbiturates, and, and there were the autops the autopsy report says there were no drugs in her body. So she was murdered, and she wasn't mm -hmm. murdered by Kennedy. Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, was having sex with her. He didn't murder her. Right. 
Uh, and what guy? What guy would murder the girl he's having sex with, especially if she's beautiful? You know, that, that just doesn't make sense. The Hoover F Hoover murdered her, right? Because yeah, he F was covering Trump. up the trail back to him. Right, exactly, and he had killed the Kennedys. And I don't think this. I know this. They they covered up the the five governors. Uh, that kidnapped me and my twin and, and were murdered. Murder his his boyfriend was one of those murderers, Clyde Anderson Tolson. He was related to the right, Andersons. Right. And Anderson right. was one of the rapists when he was four years old. Right, right. And they beat my twin to death. And they had pretended to my father to be his friend. And then Pratt cut my father's hands off when I and my twin were kidnapped with Camille Sirhan. And this was in 1957. This is 11 years before they framed Sirhan Sirhan for Kennedy's murder, Bobby Kennedy's murder. Mm -hmm. He didn't murder Bobby Kennedy. He was trying to protect him. Um, my daughter was kidnapped with one of the Kennedy girls when she was seven. When I divorced the Indian family that was trying to murder me, uh, the West House family tried to murder me three times, so I divorced her. And they were all drug dealers. Her, her father was a state policeman dealing drugs to the outlaws and the renegades. And I asked her to quit dealing drugs because the police kept pulling me over and yeah. showing me the drugs in my cars. Mm -hmm. And I knew nothing about it because I worked two jobs. I worked for Morrison in the morning and yeah. then I played music at night, seven days a week. I would get in my own car, and my wife and her brother had filled it with drugs, and they were selling it to the renegades and the outlaws. Yeah. A member of the outlaws dug the hole Jimmy Hoffa was buried in. And that same family introduced me to Whitey, who sold me the car, and that's why the FBI detained me. And um, if I call the FBI now about murdered kids in Oakland County and Elbrooks, Patterson, mm -hmm. and Perry, whose cousins in the family I divorced, they hang up on me. Yeah, they don't want to hear it. They and know they Osborne, know who you are. <laughs> uh, Governor Osborne family runs the sex crime division at the FBI in California right now. And then the entire California lawyers bar use my stolen trademark to study out of to pass the bar exam and this is tell, a, tell this, them who osborne is here they if, uh, if, if this is somebody's was, first video they don't know and his brother kidnapped me tortured and raped me and they and that's the family that runs the fbi sex crimes division right exactly that's amazing Osborne family and then his his sister is on tv and the osborne family also runs Senator Graham's uh, Detroit media channel for with Help Me Hank. Help Me Hank. Hank is one of the drug dealers I stopped on the farm I bought from uh, the tax attorney, Mr. Mazar. Mm -hmm. And that that went all the way back to 1978, 79. And uh, Jay Giles family introduced me to Mazar and put me on that farm after my um, fiance was raped by five people, she was chained to a tree. Her teeth were kicked out. She was kicked in the stomach and beat unconscious. And then they all raped her, five guys. On Belle Isle, while she sat with St Sylvester Stallone's wife. You got this picture? Mm -hmm. And Stallone had divorced his wife. And she was uh, uh, from California. She moved back to Detroit. Hmm. So, and that was Ricky Nelson's cousin, Karen Kissel. Her name was Karen Kissel Nelson. And she was from Missouri. And that's Ricky Nelson's family. And he sang Mr. Hughes, Hidden, Hidden Dylan's Shoes, and I'm Mr. Hughes. When you started writing my book about the truth of Kennedy's murder, Dylan come out with a song about Ken uh, mm -hmm. Kennedy's murder, if you remember. Very clearly. That was, what, three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. And you were still 
studying my hospital records on my wife, and you you can see my wife was raped in the hospital. Her yeah. ears were cut off in the hospital. It's all in the hospital records. Even Dr. Meyer from Michigan came and looked at her body and said she was raped. And Meyer was my doctor when I was playing at Oscar Tyler Moore's parties. And that's uh, Mary Tyler Moore's family. And then you had Dick Van Dyke. When I moved out here to California, Dick Van Dyke's car caught on fire in front of my house. I live on Highway 5. And that, um, that let's was, back up to Bob Dylan for a second. That because was 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. So when Bob Dylan wrote that song about Kennedy, right after we started talking about the, the Kennedy assassination and everything, and after he'd wrote uh, uh, Dylan, uh, Mr. Hughes hidden Dylan's shoes and all that, um, and the garden party and your family's gardener. So I get all that. So does that mean that either well, Bob Dylan is listening to your videos or does it mean that um, – Another yeah, publisher they're, they're, is conveying they're it. Watching, or... They're still watching me and marking me at New York and Hollywood and Detroit. Yeah. You know yourself, I'm marked in thousands of movies. Oh, yeah. I, I, they make it extremely clear when they do it, too. Um, it's always Anderson and Osborne and, and Jesse Ventura. What's his real name? Uh... I believe it's Anderson. It, it might be. I'm not sure on that one. Um, you're no, you're thinking of a different wrestler, uh, Steve Austin. His, his name is Anderson. Yeah, well, that's my kidnappers. Yeah, and, and that's and, why he's the one that always steals your trademark and, and says and he that's the bottom out, line. He always came out drunk stealing my trademark. Right, right. And then the FBI helped him steal it, and Dupont murdered wrestlers on his farm as he stole my trademark with 2,500 corporations. Right. And the reason right. I knew DuPont and Milky McClung was Twin Pines. My family owned the patents on milk trucks, and that's where my father's hands were cut off by Pratt. The Twin Towers didn't exist yet, but they were built on Pratt Street. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, which tells you that that of the Twin Pines and the Back to the Future movies really, really tell how much planning went in to steal in that trademark. Yeah, these people planned all these things as they kidnapped me and murdered Admiral Byrd. I mean, they built the World Trade Centers with the point of destroying them. It's, the diaries it's, from Admiral Byrd are all fake. They're, he never wrote those diaries. That's how they covered up his murder. And they still cover me up behind aliens and UFOs. My family built the, the underground bases like Area 51 and S4. Mm -hmm. I and my twin and Camille Sirham were four when we were kidnapped. The same year that they have this, killed Admiral Byrd. Right. And my mother was his nurse. My mother was a World War II nurse. Right. Now, but they don't admit that they killed Admiral Byrd either, but but your family knows. No, he confronted Truman and Eisenhower about selling guns to other countries from World War II in Korea and getting drugs in return. And they were selling the drugs on the street, just like in Fast and Furious. Yeah. And the, the drug trade, my father stopped. And then I had to stop a, a, a drug trade on the farm I bought from Trump's tax attorney, Mazar. They had an illegal Senate gun and drug trade. And little kids as young as two and three were overdosed in my driveway on cocaine. And, and so part of the whole theft of your trademark and, and part of your life is partly to the hide the murder in. of Admiral Byrd. Right. It's all and this huge drug trade in Vietnam. It's always the government selling illegal guns. Yeah, money and drugs in return, and then they sell them on the street. And, the and that's that's what all this is about. Vietnam, fifty, sixty thousand U.S. soldiers died, just sell drugs and and uh, equipment. And now that's why that's why you see uh, Biden doing the same thing again in Afghanistan, yeah, leaving well, all that father, stuff over there. My father, just before Kennedy was murdered, my father stopped Mister Brown's drugs. Mister Brown was married to. Uh, Mary Martin, Peter Pan, and Martin family are my cousins. My father got mad because 
they kept asking my mother to do drugs with them and have sex with them. And my mother and father weren't like that. They were Christians. They went to church every week and they raised me in a church. They had me going to school to become a priest. Mm -hmm. And about the fifth or sixth time, uh, these Baptist people asked my mother to have sex and do drugs with them. My father got mad, called the police, brought the police to Mr. Brown's house and the Brown family are my cousins. Had him open his trunk and there's heroin and weed and cocaine in his trunk. They arrested him, put him in jail. That same week, Stone kidnapped me and he was pretending he was a surgeon and on the day Kennedy was shot and murdered, Stone illegally cut the bone out of my foot. And it was headlines of the Detroit News. And immediately after that, because we're talking about 1963, had, then Johnson's president, and he's having an affair with the Brown family, Madeline Duncan Brown. Right, and that's my family. Yeah. And then she was involved in drugs. And they've hidden all this. And I mean, it the, makes the sense. It makes perfect sense. Our whole FBI, country is run by a narco state, basically. Uh, the, the FBI is behind all this. Mm -hmm. And, and when, that's what and Kennedy he, wanted to end was the FBI, which is correct. why Hoover had him killed. Correct. And now you have the FBI supporting the gays. They, they, they gave a wrestler who was stealing my trademark, Valentino. He put my family, Mr. Harris, in jail after he hired him to make a sawed-off shotgun for him. Mm -hmm. And this happened in Philadelphia, not in Iowa or Idaho. They've changed the names and the dates on the stories, and it happened in 81, not 91. Right. And the FBI and the CIA, they just go back and they change the stories. And then the new next generation, they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing this forever. My mother's great grandmother was uh, President Lincoln's guest in Ford Theater, and I already said that earlier. Yeah, Claire but, Harris. Yeah, mm -hmm. and going back to, um, well, I'll skip that part. But what do you want to know, right? Hmm. Um. Gosh, I mean, there's so many topics I could go. We could just yeah, latch on to anything and go with it. I mean, you just mentioned Clara Harris. We could go all the way back and talk about Clara Harris a little bit more yeah, my family and, and the Harris family. My family investigated Lincoln's murder. That's why Baker married into my family, the Baker family. Her yeah. parents worked at Chrysler uh, when Lee Iacocca started running it. Fletcher Neville wrote Seven Days in May with Lee Iacocca's son-in-law, Nagy, made the cover. And my doctor, Bailey, helped him write the book. Yes. And they all lived with me in Utica, Michigan. And that was Victoria Mellon, my murdered wife in Johnson City. Her father served with Kennedy in World War II. So did my father. And then my other murdered wife, Terry Heath, her family protected New York in 1775, 1776, where my family, George Washington, mm -hmm. before we were a country. So the Bakers were... And Terry Heath was kidnapped out of her office, her CPS Head Start office in Wisconsin by two off-duty police. And then they murdered her on my ranch. I, she called me and asked me for help. I bought her a Civil War ranch in Tennessee. And then they came there and murdered her. And they called right. her murder a suicide. That Civil War theme is so important because that goes back to the Bakers, too, because, like you said, it was Lafayette Baker who was the person who investigated Lincoln's assassination. Right. And right. then in Kennedy's, uh, the people that killed actually did the, the killing uh married into the baker family and helped right. uh and is still protecting the people that actually pulled the trigger uh well, for kennedy the people that kidnapped me and the same people that kidnapped you and still run the, the sex crimes division today were, osborne the people that kidnapped me were lee harvey oswald's bunk mates os and os osborne and oswald so they were in the same bunks in the military right which makes perfect sense, right? 
and she married into my family and she's become a millionaire writing books about how she loved Lee Harvey Oswald as she's lived with the Osborne family her entire life. The yeah. fact they kidnapped me and murdered my twin. So she rightfully says that Oswald didn't do it and all at the same friends, time. All of her friends are gays. All, while defending the people who actually did it. Right, right. right. And that's why they were torturing me and my twin for gay sex when we were four. Yeah. And that's why they murdered the Oakland County child kids for sex. And it's also why they write books about uh, known homosexual pedophiles like David Fer Ferry or Furry or well, however you pronounce it. The Baker family it. made the gay flag. And, yeah, and the Bakers and, made and the gay those flag. those are the people that married into my family. Right. They're not my family. They yeah, they're not. My right. They're not the, the Lafayette Baker people. They're the people that marry in to get the notoriety. They married and, yeah. into my family and then cheated on my family with gays. I get it. Right. Oh. Uh, and then they protect the other gays. Nobody, it all makes so much sense. It's unreal. And then when I tell people this truth, you know, things like Ava Gardner's my family or Marilyn Monroe is my family. Her yeah, they can't even get their head around that, can they? It's unreal. Well, <laughs> Bill Gates' mother was Baker. Yeah. Uh, he got the software to make his first computer when I married my first wife from her father, Joe Jacobs of IBM. Right there at your wedding, and they're related to Baker. Right. I mean, and then and then Gates bought Four Seasons trademark from my best man at yeah. my wedding, Mister Lemps. Okay. That was that was that was my best man at my wedding. Gates bought that trademark from my best man. This stuff is crystal clear, Hugh. Why don't somebody take a, an interest and actually give a they give a rip about American their country? Public, they don't want the American public to know the truth, and the FBI and and people like Al Brooks Patterson, Al Brooks Patterson's family, and the Perry family, who is the West House family, who really murdered Hoffa mm -hmm. and buried him under my horse. Mm -hmm. They were taking hookers to Bill Clinton when he was governor of Arkansas. Same mm -hmm. two families. Right. So that tells you they're all the same mafia. Yeah, and they they control the news. With exactly. London, all our news is owned by London. CBS is Canadian broadcasting system. CBS. And we and we see that they run the music because you got Ben when, Perry. When my and wife Victoria Mom was murdered, Walters was her advocate and they used Walters' phone to advertise to me from the hospital. I was at home. They called me at home and screamed in the phone Slater and Slater's the judge that let the people out of jail in Michigan who murdered my wife mm -hmm. on our ranch. Right. And Slater was a judge in Michigan. Then he became a politician in Troy, Michigan, where I built my first house. And then Walters, how did they get the, uh, the Walter phone? And then on the same day they murdered my wife, slit her throat. They murdered my attorney. And then Tom Garrett at CVS destroyed my online business. And that's right. So you see Walters and Garrett run in the media, and they're the people involved in your life covering this they up. So, of course, covered, nothing ever gets to the media. They covered JFK's murder in 63. And, and they, they covered Oswald's murder. Mm -hmm. And... They end up asking me to burn their properties down. They were trying to set me up like they set me up in Michigan and said I robbed banks and I murdered Hoffa. They asked me to burn their properties down. And in Tennessee, that's Walter's State College. <laughs> Bobby Walters yeah. asked yeah, me to burn same their family. properties down. I told, I told my neighbor, Anderson, and there's the Anderson family that kidnapped me again. Mm -hmm. I told him, that Walters offered me ten grand to burn his properties down. He said he'd have a talk with them. Well, two days later, Anderson and his wife were dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Walters killed them, and then when they slit, when they cut my wife's ears off and slit her throat Halloween Eve and murdered her a second time in Johnson City, they used Walters. Johnson City, like President Johnson. Walters was my wife's advocate in Johnson City mm -hmm. Hospital. Gosh, it makes so and much sense. And, and and then 
Tom Garrett destroyed my online business at eBay, and I was a top seller at eBay. He destroyed it with lies. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then CBS, Canadian Broadcasting System, he was Obama's White House journalist for CBS. Yeah, Major Cut Garrett. Yeah. Right, in, right in Obama's White House. Right, right, right. So you're not just saying like vague, like uh, like put, the, the fake. Put, they gave him a job on the takeout the day after they murdered my wife. And then yeah, so you're giving us the real names, Hugh. You're not just saying like vague they or the Illuminati did no, this. Or, I mean, you're saying people, these specific people damaged my, my life. Here's their names. They've been doing this since family, Kennedy. My whole family has been murdered five times mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on holidays. Yeah, mother's yeah. It, family, my mother's family was murdered at church. Then yeah. they went back. Then they went back to the kids they missed and ran them over with semis, playing in their own yards. Right. So you could take it even back to to World War II and so on. Yeah. Prior to World War II. Oh, oh well, I like we already took they it all back, all the way back to Lincoln. Seven. They did that when my mother was seven, and they stole patents for the Fuller transmission, vans, buses milk trucks, the fuller transmission and semis, my mother owned all of that. They stole that from her and then they stole my trademark after torturing me. Stone and Osborne, who put Trump in the White House, tortured me for sex. You got to Yeah, yeah. is anybody else listening? I mean, these are the real names. These nobody, are the people who have been doing this. The truth. They make fun of me in the, in the news run by London. Fox right. is owned by Rupert Murdoch. He lives on as a bottom line segment. Yeah. He lives on Huey Squire Street in London, next to Albert mm -hmm. Hall. I'm Huey Squire. CBS bottom line segment. But Detective Al, the Detective Al in Michigan was supposed to protect me. Instead of protecting me, he was banging my wife of one week. Yeah, yeah. I, I walked I walked in on him banging my wife in front of my daughter. Right, right. So they run the police just like they run Perry and Patterson. And then Giuliani is a Knight of the Queen. Just like Jagger. Remember uh, the Twin Tower destruction? Jagger was right there in New York with mm -hmm. uh, Giuliani, a Knight of the London Queen. Mm -hmm. Fox News was reporting it was CVS. They're both owned by London. Even CNN, which marked me with Anderson Cooper. Cooper kidnapped my daughter. Anderson kidnapped me. You got Anderson Cooper, CNN, and Nancy was my wife, and her father was Joe Jacobs of IBM. Yeah, CBC, another homosexual, right? The BBC runs CNN now. And yeah, yeah. So London, the London throne has taken over your music, all your news, mm -hmm. Apple computer. Mm -hmm. You got this picture? My, my, uh, maid of honor at my wedding was May. Who was May? Premier of London. I can't believe people don't just automatically tie the name Apple Computers and Apple Records together from the Beatles. Yeah. Being well, from I, London. I, I took Evans to, to Apple Records to record with the Beatles when they made Traveling Wilbury songs mm. at Apple Records in Ohio, where you live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was way, that was when I stopped that illegal gun and drug trade that Mick Jagger was getting his drugs from. And Jagger married my other rapist, Hall. Daryl yeah. Hall raped me with Osborne. Right. Anderson, Wallace, Long, Anderson, and Andrews. And all these people have stolen my life. Stone illegally cut the bone out of my foot, running the hospital with absolutely no medical training, pretending... He was a surgeon. He was supposed to go to jail for 30 years. It was headlines in Warren, Michigan. Somebody let him out of jail early. And now you have Osborne and Stone. That's Trump's election team. <laughs> and Osborne's running his campaign. And I'm related to George Washington. He married into my family. That's why Trump says he's, he's better than George Washington. That's why he says that. That, that makes sense. Because he knows they kidnapped me, murdered my twin, cut the bone out of my foot illegally on the day they murdered Kennedy. Trump knows all this. Oh, he knows your life really well. That's why he went to where your last wife 
was from there, not from, but lived up there in the Detroit area on the anniversary of her murder. And that, that made so much sense to me right then that I knew he knew the entire story. Well, and then you say, that. Oh, well, and then as, and then as a tax. To that. I don't pay any attention to that, but Trump actually used my, my stolen trademark on the white house lawn after he became president. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line. His tax attorneys uh, sold you uh, land there and had a had and a. All the senators were selling guns and drugs and making right. money, putting the money in their pockets. That's how they. I get, mean, he knows your life really, really well. That's how they get reelected. Graham had a, a, a state policeman watching over my wife, Victoria Mellon, as she was murdered. Her right, father, Graham. Her father served in the Navy with John F. Kennedy. So did my father. And Senator Graham is Trump's good buddy. Correct. And 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 hires the people that Trump puts in in office. Right. Barr and and Osborne. Barr and Osborne, and they were my neighbors in Michigan. Osborne was governor of Michigan. He always ran against my family, Baldwin. I'm the Baldwin family. And that's why Halls handed the gun. Your rapist handed the gun to. Alec Baldwin and well, after Rusty on the set of Rust. Rusty killed and murdered Brian Baldwin, who was on atomic submarines for 18 years. Rusty killing murdered Brian, called me on the phone, told me he murdered him. And then he told me I'm next. And then he came out to my house and tried to murder him. A year later. Alec Baldwin's on the on the set of Rust, and you actually called his attorney, didn't you? Yeah, I tried to give him the story that you're telling us right now. And they never yeah. got back to you, did they? Didn't and even I, didn't even then, care. <laughs> and then you called Sirhan in prison, wrote him a letter. He didn't answer you. You 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 wrote uh, Robbie Robert Kennedy Jr. and he didn't answer you. He didn't answer, but he, he went down there and met Sirhan and then ran for right. president. And and he told you, he told Sirhan right to his face, he knows he didn't kill his father. Right. And he knew it because you wrote the letter. You got the picture? And they, yep. they, they completely circumvent my truth, never say it. And they keep changing news stories from the past. They change dates, places, names, and you know this. You've watched them do it. Uh -huh. You've known me for over seven years, and you researched me as they change names and dates. Yeah, yeah. So they control the news, and, and they have the country broken up into LSD. There's five colors to LSD. There's orange, red, strawberry, purple in another color, orange or something. And they give each section of the country a different news story. And then they study us. And they're manipulating us. And they've been doing this since the, way before the 50s. They do it in the newspapers and on the news. And then when you realize that London Throne owns our news, that means the FBI works for the London throne. And that's then who, clearly what it means. Who was the queen married to? The German SS guard. Right, <laughs> Hitler's guard. That means all her sons and grandchildren are from Hitler. And they run our news, our music, and they've completely taken over this country. Everything. They even run, uh, they even got rid of NASA for the most part, well, being got rid of it like it don't exist, but replaced it mostly with somebody that's on their side. From Musk. South Africa, and, yeah. where all the Nazis were. Right, right. Um, we don't need to name a name. Everybody knows who that is. Yeah. And then he lies about everything. He sells his power inverter. When I was 12 years old, I knew about that power inverter. He says he invented it. He didn't invent it. We've oh. always known that. The meters are based on kilowatt hours. So when the voltage goes down, the watts go up. So anytime the power company wants to, they can make the voltage go down and the wattage goes up. Hmm. They can control your bill that way. 
And we've known this for a hundred years. He didn't invent that. And he didn't invent the electric car. Henry Ford did. Back in the 1800s, they had electric cars. So everything he says on the news was just a lie. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my family, Harris, went to school with Musk. And my family, Harris, was Lincoln's guest because we were against slavery. Clara Harris. That's my mother's great friend. I find it interesting. Okay, Harris, Hamela Harris is from, uh, her mother's from India. And now the guy we were just talking about is promoting uh, trying to get India in the news. I posted on Facebook today, trying to get India uh permanent status in the un in, as a security member she's in the indonesia, un she's indonesia and africa and her own father at berkeley wrote a book about how the harris family in africa which is kamala were selling slaves in america well i'm seeing i think that the london throne is just doing everything they can to get somebody from india as president partly to help India become a security member in the UN. That's my theory right now. So the real Harris family, my family, in the Smithsonian with Steam Thrashers and Massey Ferguson, mm -hmm. for over a hundred years, we've been in the Smithsonian. We gave uh, America and even Africa tractors, gave it to them for free. Yeah. They put up my family in the Smithsonian, and now Biden gives you Kamala Harris after they, after they murdered the entire Harris family. I'm the only one remaining. You got this picture? Yeah. So they murder my family members, Jackson and Harris and Fuller, and then they replace my family name in the government pretending they're my family. And that's exactly what they're doing. Biden, I never, you and I never said this. It was in our book they stole at the post office. I've had five shipments stolen from the post office just since Christmas. $2,000 worth of products I bought to publish your book. Mm -hmm. And they keep stealing everything I buy to publish the book you wrote. Mm -hmm. The post office. Yeah, and they're still doing it. And that's mm -hmm. the government. Yeah, they just stole something from me this week. Mm -hmm. And then my family appointed the first postmaster general. You got this picture? And your yeah. bow, your bow, that's Pitney bow. They make the scales for the post office. <laughs> it's just unbelievable what they're doing to you and I. Mm -hmm. And they're really doing this. I know, yeah. Um, Repeatedly. And uh, everybody thinks I'm lying. And you, you research my federal documents. I had a civil rights case in the Pentagon on 9-11, right? They blew it up. Right, right. It was against the family that built the Pentagon, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I worked with the entire House of Representatives and all the senators for three sessions of Congress, rewriting the Berne Convention, correct? Oh, even all the way back to when you were a kid writing letters to Kennedy about it. Right. Kennedy's last speech, he was talking about to you Tribune publishers. I'm on the front page of the Chicago Tribune, a publisher. Mm -hmm. And then everybody around me stole my trademark, stole my business, stole the federal license. They even stole my name, Huey Squire, and my trademark bottom line bottom line events and the people that stole it are the people the very people who kidnapped me at four and murdered my twin with Camille Surham and Kennedy was actually fighting all of this wow all the way he back was fighting then. the FBI not to see yeah he right was in the Navy the Navy funds the CIA the CIA is not going to kill a decorated soldier who's president right they had no interest in killing the Navy. Right. The FBI did. And then who did Hoover hire? He hired my cousin, Marilyn Monroe, who's Miss Baker. Mm -hmm. And then who died after the Kennedys died? Miss Baker. They covered their tracks. Mm -hmm. And Hoover and Webster did this as they, as they murdered my family and stole our patents 
Hollywood properties and my trademark. And my trademark was a federal license in every country on earth. Your story is the only story that makes any sense. I mean, you read stuff on the Kennedys, you read, and and the the theories they put out are just so baseless and stupid that it's hard to even read them. Same thing with all the Hoffa. You can read seven, eight, nine hundred books on Hoffa, and there's not an ounce or a shred of truth in any of it. <laughs> and, and I'm never and, mentioned, but I'm the first. But guy. everybody believes those stories and, and, and won't even listen guy, to the reality. I'm the very first guy the FBI detained, and I'm not mentioned anywhere. Mm -hmm. Complete blackout on my truth because of the Oakland County child killings by governors. Yeah. And Al Brooks Patterson never solved a single murder. And even President Ford's family, he was King and Gardner. The last kid murdered just before Hoffa was disappeared mm -hmm. was Timmy King. That's President Ford's family. Mm -hmm. And he was kidnapped off of my family's property, Gardner Street. You got this picture? Yes. Nothing's about any of this. My four dismembered murdered wives, all murdered on holidays, Christmas, July 4th, Halloween. And then a fourth one murdered as, as Trump let the Bundys out of jail. Her name was Miss Lavoy nowadays. I divorced her in 69. They cut her leg off and murdered her as, as Trump let the Bundys out of jail. You got this picture? Yeah, Lavoy Finnecum and all that story, yeah. right? Yeah, as they murdered Lavoy Finnecum, the FBI murdered them. They murdered my wife, Nancy Lavoy. She was my first wife. And, and people know the Trump. FBI did that, but that they can't. Joe Jacobs of IBM. That was his stepdaughter, his stepdaughter. He married her mother. Mm. And then her next father was Suarez. And he was mayor of East Detroit, where you get Ted Nugent. When I stopped the illegal gun and drug trade, Nugent was always high. All of a sudden, he was a DEA agent. Remember this? Yeah. Yeah. He was higher than any musician in Detroit. And he grew up in East Detroit. And I even played at IROC, his club. Not hard to see how they're working together, the FBI and the drugs. It's it's clear as can be. And that's even why Suarez no, ran for president in Florida. Senators, the House of Representatives, the presidents, they're all covering this up as they become rich selling drugs to American kids all over the, all over the country. And they've been doing this for over 100 years. And when I stopped the illegal gun and drug trade on the seven square mile farm I got from Mazar, they made all the drug dealers Hollywood stars. Graham put Help Me Hank on Channel 4 News with Osborne and Barr. And they were my neighbors in Oakland County. Roseanne Barr and Chucky O'Brien, Kathy O'Brien, Roseanne's friend. Osborne, my kidnapper, they run Channel 4 and WWJ in Detroit for Senator Graham. And he's hidden all of this. And they make movie stars out of the drug dealers. I stopped the drug dealers. They put me in jail for a year, kidnapped my daughter with the Kennedy family. She was seven. And they were going to bury her in an excavation yard. Then they make a Roseanne Barr video, and now Roseanne Barr is Trump's greatest fan. Yeah, she's his, <laughs> his good friend because Osborne is his friend. And they were my neighbors in Oakland County, Michigan, where they murdered all the kids. And then Un Roseanne Barr's family gave Epstein his job as a teacher as I became a teacher. In Manhattan, that's how he had access to all those kids he stole to Trump and Clinton. Hmm. And the... Uh, uh, the Queen's son, mm -hmm. and to 300 other people. Even Musk was his friend. They were all buying underage kids for sex from Epstein, yep. all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Roseanne Barr's father set it all up. And then Trump, who did he make uh, Attorney General Barr? Right. The very guy that set Epstein up. Uh-huh. And then you see Trump and Barr pretending to fight, but they're helping each other. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you're cool. the only one giving these names. I mean, you'd think people would be interested Ep in this and Epstein, want, want some truth. Epstein was given $50 million to provide kids to Trump and Clinton in one afternoon. And I'm not, I'm not aware of that story. From New York. Okay. In Manhattan, where he was a teacher. And Barr gave oh, him the job. Okay. That's Roseanne Barr's family. Yeah. yeah That's why he, she's our friend, his, his friend. Mm -hmm. And Osborne and, and Graham, Osborne put Trump in the White House with Stone. And they both kidnapped me and tortured me. Stone tortured me on the day they murdered John F. Kennedy. And now you hear Roseanne no trying to, uh, Roseanne you know, tries to. Greg, you know there's no lie in this. I know. This is why Roseanne now is, uh, a lot of times you hear her getting involved with the alien stories and the MK Ultra because she was getting that from Kathy O'Brien. And then Ted Nugent, the guy who all of a sudden became a DEA agent, and he was the highest rocker in Detroit, always high. And they, he can't tell me he wasn't because his mother took me to the MC5 wedding, even his mother was high. Okay. <laughs> and he's an Indian, just like Westhouse, and Indians buried Hoffa. A state policeman from the Apache Indians buried Hoffa under my horse. My horse just disappeared that day. Yeah. It's just amazing. And I put up pictures of the guy that dug the hole, and the FBI doesn't care. If I call the FBI about the dead Oakland County kids, they hang up on me. Which tells you right there, Kennedy was right, and the FBI needed to go yeah. 60, 70 years ago, and now, right. yeah. And now they're running the country with gays. That's what they're doing. The people that Or working directly for the people we, we rebelled against who's watching uh, to the found property, the country. Who's watching the Hollywood property they stole from my mother when they murdered her whole family? The Harris, yeah. Yeah. Or was it? Uh, yeah. No, Gary Prang. From Michigan. Was it? Gary Prang from Michigan is the tax assessor. In Prang? The, I forgot the name. One. Okay. You don't remember this, do you? No, I remember what we talked about, but I don't remember the name. Spell it for me. Gary Prang, P R A M G. He's married to a man. There okay. are days, and he went to Michigan State or Central University in Michigan. They murdered my mother's entire family, stole her Hollywood properties. They sell them, and then a gay man assesses the taxes to my dead mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, okay. And he's doing this right now as he sells the properties to Chinese people. <laughs> you got this picture? And this is what's uh -huh. really going on, right? And why don't any of them sue me? They don't want it in court. And I went to school with the Prang family. Okay. In Michigan. Wow. He moved. He, he got his degree, moved to California, got got a, got elected as tax assessor or appointed. Who would have appointed him? Schwarzenegger? Schwarzenegger married into the Kennedy family. Maybe. Mm. Schwarzenegger's my cousin. He married into the Kennedy family. You got this picture? Yeah. <laughs> and people don't believe me. They think I they think no guy can be related to this many famous people, but my family made the first TV series on earth. My family is on all the American money. Of course yeah. people are gonna flow to my family for money. I mean Gardner was on the Mayflower. It goes back that far. I know. I, I, and so was Gates. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. I'm well aware of this. And then Gates, he'll buy the trademark from my best man at my wedding, but he does uh, absolutely nothing to help me with my stolen trademark bottom line. He never helped. But it really makes sense. Your family has been here literally since the very first day. They're still in the history. <laughs> they're stealing the history from my family and pretending they're when 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 Florence died, who's Cook and Perry's uh, cousin. My mother-in-law, who was with Hoffa when he was murdered, and Hoffa's my family. When she died, she said that on her gravestone that she's my children's grandmother, and she's not. They're stealing the history of the country, 
in the cemeteries. You got this picture? And that's why it was so important, Mike, runs, that video that I did runs, up in Marietta. Who runs Marietta? <laughs> Cook and Perry. Right. You got <laughs> the running the museum. And yeah. I don't well, exist. And that's why they hated the, the story about... I don't about, exist, yeah. but I had a publishing company called Bottom Line all the way back in 1960. Yeah. In, on Broadway <laughs> in New York. Yeah. And, and, and they got together with Hill. I, I just believe David they Gardner's did. I really family, believe that. Gardner and Fuller built Hollywood, Gosh. but I don't exist. Right. And, I, and they, 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 they blacked uh. me out in all media as they murdered my whole family five times. Stealing money from me. They, they've stolen the history of the country. And they've done a good job of it. Florence it's, was, uh, that's an Italian name, Florence. And I don't I don't know anybody that listens to the truth. I mean, I don't know anybody. Not not a single person uh, out there right Mus now is really no, listening they, to the truth. They all think I'm lying, and I'm not. Mussolini was Hitler's friend in Italy, wasn't he? Yeah. Remember that? Oh, Florence yeah. is from Italy. There's yeah. a city in, in Italy called Florence. That's Cook and Perry. The queen who knights people like Giuliani in the Stones who sang about killing the Kennedys in the Beatles who gave you drugs at Haight-Ashbury with the Maharisha from India. You got this picture? She knights them all. I think Giuliani was knighted after the World Trade Centers were bombed, which tells me right there that she was rewarding him for what he did for her. Right, right. And Bush, Bush was a Nazi. Bush... And people don't even believe this, or that's true. Where was Hitler's car, Greg? Right there in Greenville, where, where, where he I, was. Where I owned the Civil War ranch in the Ambats Hall. Bush put it there, and Bush made Hitler's parachutes and uniforms and sold them cyanide, and he sold Saddam Hussein cyanide. Right. Bush makes cyanide down where Trump lives for the U.S. mints. When you, when you, when you zinc plate a coin... You dip uh -huh. the cyanide first to clean right. it, and then you plate it. Bush makes the cyanide for the men's in Florida. We're People really about. need to study the Bushes. That, that's a well, that's, that's why how, they own a baseball team. These guys Bush, are billionaires. That's how. Well, that's why Bush thought that Saddam Hussein, Hussein had cyanide because yeah. he sold it to him. Right, because his family and makes those it. Those were illegal cells, just like Clinton. Where was Clinton get her, getting her enriched uranium from? Uh, probably from that. Uh, well, two bases. The Clinton works down in uh, Tennessee, in uh, Oak, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and that, and was the, next door that to other my farm. And so was Eastman Kodak. Yeah. And then Eastman Kodak took my baby pictures in '53 on 9/11. George Towers was his photographer. And they put a four four on the on the on the picture of my baby pictures that George Towers took for Eastman Kodak. Eastman Kodak offices, their main offices, are next door to my Civil War farm in Tennessee. So is Clinton. Walmart distribution is Midway, Tennessee, next door to my farm. It was a Civil War ranch. Manning owned it. Osborne set me up with Manning. I purchased the farm and moved Terry onto it when two off-duty policemen kidnapped her out of her Wisconsin, Wisconsin offices. Terry Heath, Brigadier mm -hmm. General Heath, who protected New York for George Washington, my family. They murdered her on that farm. Manning owns it. Manning and Garrison, my alumni, co-created the JFK archives, which is a lie. And everybody in my neighborhood, my immediate uh, Boston, neighborhood, not New York. And my immediate neighborhood in Oakland County, where they killed all those kids. Yeah, they framed Oswald. Klein, Lawson. I went to school with all these people. Mm -hmm. You got the picture? Yeah. They framed an innocent man, and then Ruby come along and shot him before he could talk and defend himself. And Baker says she loved Oswald, but she didn't love Oswald. She's been loving, living with Osborne her whole life, and Osborne's gay. 
so she must like to have sex with more than one guy at a time. Makes sense. I know. And she entered Oswald's life. That's just her best to set him friend up. all her life, Osborne. Osborne ki kidnapped me and murdered my twin. And he runs the sex crime division at the FBI. Her whole life is a lie hiding me. Her parents worked with my family at Chrysler on Nine Mile of Mound. Hmm. And that's Fletcher Neville's book, Seven Days in May. They even named Jackie dying on a horse in that book, don't they? Yeah, and 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 they didn't name her, but they, you know, they. I think the fact that it's with the races and everything that alludes to yeah, that. The yeah. and then I lived in Hazel Park, where you have a Hazel Park racetrack, and that's where the Preakness took place. Right. In Oakland County, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And then D'Angelo, the serial killer in in California, he murdered over two hundred and five women on Highway Five. Yeah. It's on property I own, D'Angelo's Pizza. Next to the Preakness racetrack. <laughs> and I went to school between the racetrack and the pizza DM oh. owned. And to tie it together, okay, I, you had on this. On Hughes Street. I owned it at birth. And then to tie it together, okay, you got the guy that was studying D'Angelo the killer, becoming a policeman, and he goes out and kills four people, like your number four, yeah. at the address in Idaho, 1122, I signifying that he knew about... I am my twin, it, Camille Sirhan, kidnapped him. At four years old, and he killed those four people, and it was the address where he killed him was Kennedy's uh, uh, death uh, assassination uh, date, 1122. On you. you already know this, but people out there don't. Camille Sirhan married into my family. Mm -hmm. As they framed Bobby, or not Sirhan Sirhan for Bobby's murder, I was at the, the Sirhan wedding, and she was being married into my family. She probably thought my cousin was me because I gave her a hug when she was crying, she missed her father. She probably thought my cousin was me because he was born on the same day I was. You got this picture? Yeah. And then Johnson called my family's home about five Duncan kids who were murdered at the same time Kennedy was murdered. Then the, the FBI funding the public schools made Agatha Christie, which is the Miller family, they made that required reading for all the public schools, arsenic and old lace, and the Duncan kids supposedly were all murdered with arsenic. And Mr. Duncan and his kids were my friends. Johnson called my family's home because the Duncan family didn't have a phone. As he became president, you got to. Oh, I get it now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he becomes president. Jackie's standing there with blood on her, and he calls my family. That's the first thing he did in the White House. Called my family about the five Duncan dead kids, and they ranged in age from about a year old to twelve years old. And they, the, the news said that they all sat around the table and ate a box of rat poison. That's such a BS story, it's pathetic. Wow. And then Agatha Christie is really Miller from London again. The FBI made her book required reading in all public schools. It's a classic, Arsenic and Old Lace. Yeah. And there's other things, lots of other things. You got Duncan McLeod. My brother is Mike, Nick. Uh, what's a cloud? It hides things. You got there can be only one. Gee, I was sitting with the Duncan kids and I'm still here. Hmm. You got this picture? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, and and I wish more people did. Uh, my but family I don't know how owned to make... the biggest. My family owned the biggest farm in New Haven, Michigan. And I don't know how to make people get take uh, care about reality, Hugh. I wish I knew knew some way. I don't either. And that's where Jimmy Hoff is buried in New Haven, Michigan. Right. Yep. Yeah, I'm aware. He's buried under Lady Gaga. Yeah, G and G Auto, right? Yeah, Gaga. I'm a, I'm a music G &G publisher at ASCAP Auto. and BMI. And they stole my trademark. They buried Hoff under Gaga. This is true. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And Janet Barclay was a much better pianist, but they wouldn't let her on the, on the radio.
just like me. They pulled me off the radio. I was being played on the radio in Chicago and Michigan, and they told me I robbed the bank and murdered Hoffa and pulled me off the radio. Why does everybody in this country, why would they rather hear people that can't give names, can't uh, can't give uh, details, uh, not connected to the events directly? Why do they care so much more about the BS stories? They can't even, they right. can't even fathom right. when you're actually given real details. 2,500 American corporations all over the globe stole my trademark bottom line. They employed 750,000 Americans. That's why. Right. So they I mean, want, they they don't want to admit it. And they utterly own everything: media, radio, television, music, and from every my, book that's written. From my band being on the radio, you got Dateline, Nightline, Topline. All these lines fed off of me. Even John DeLorean, when I stopped the illegal Senate gun and CIA gun and drug trade. Mm -hmm. Time Magazine put him on the front page, bottom line busted. Mm -hmm. And I grew up with John DeLorean. You got this picture? Yes, I do. That's why. Mm -hmm. So if some of this resonates with some of the audience, for, for heaven's sake, study, study, study Hugh's life. Ask us questions on Facebook. We don't do anything here on, uh, I, I close the comments on YouTube because we get so many crazy people. And, uh, you know, adds to porn sites and all this other nonsense. So I just just stopped uh, well, comments. All you get is one uh, porn site after another. And that's Osborne yeah. and the FBI doing that. That's, that is, right. Mm -hmm. So that's, anyway. Uh, the FBI runs Van Nuys, California. That's where they make all the pornography. Well, and true. Osborne runs it. We'll end it here. Okay. Hey, that was pretty good for... Uh, not uh, planning yeah, our uh, conversation in advance. YouTube, I don't care. Uh, mm -hmm. Two weeks before Christmas, what did they do to me? Do you want me to say that? Yeah. They they um, poisoned you. Do you you got a drink and somehow they got to it first and they we don't even know how they bad. did it. They poisoned me with battery acid. Yeah, you were in from really bad shape. From a Walmart. I, I it almost killed me, didn't it? Yeah, you were in bad shape there. And then they gave me COVID at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which makes me wonder. I mean, are there other and people they suffering? They broke into my home. They broke into my home and they destroyed the computer your book is on. And I was in the middle of editing it, and we got one trademark or copyright. And we need another one because you added two more chapters, correct? Right. And then when you order stuff for a new computer, they don't send it to you. They it's still, one thing after another, still, after another, after they don't another. They truth on YouTube and Facebook. And they want, they de definitely don't want the history book you just wrote. Right. right. On Kindle. It'll be worldwide. And I name names. I, I don't care anymore. I'm right. 70 and they keep, they're still trying to kill me. I don't care. Right. America needs to know the truth of who's been murdering their presidents. Yeah. This picture. I do. Uh, I don't care. Uh, when they when they succeed in murdering me, Greg, they'll come after you next. <laughs> if they haven't already, and I know they already have. Well, uh, you can put this on YouTube. Let's see if you get another strike for saying the truth. <laughs> yeah, you get it random. Sometimes you just get random strikes on there, and there's like there's no uh, logical reason for it. I'll you know, they're just you messing the with usual, you. I'll send it to you in the usual way. Okay. You have a good week. All right. Have and a good, good luck, night. Good luck at your new job. Bye. Bye.